Welcome to module three. Let's get right into talking about some color techniques, some ways to add color to your resin pieces. Uh, there are a number of ways. I'm gonna touch on five in this lesson. First up, we're going to be looking at holographic powder. I love holographic powder. I love anything sparkly, actually. Glitter, holographic powder, anything. For this method to work, you have to be using a silicone mold that's shiny. And so it's very, very important that you use one that has a shine to it. And that's because it's going to pick up the holographic powder so much better than if you used anything else. So it comes in a little pot and it has a little applicator as well, like the little old school eyeshadow applicators. Uh, that's really crucial for this. If you don't have the applicator, you can use a paintbrush, a really small paintbrush. But when you open the holographic powder, you'll see that the powder is super fine and really, really beautiful. What you're going to do is take your applicator dip it into the powder and what you're wanting to do is get that powder to adhere to the bottom of the mold now this holographic powder is amazing but if you're not covering the entire surface of the mold you're going to be able to see those those voids so make sure that like you're looking at it from every angle possible so that you can see where you've missed any spots a paintbrush might help actually in the little corners and crevices uh, but the applicator is great for the flat surfaces at the bottom so just make sure that you're getting that powder in everywhere I'm gonna apply this powder to two of the hearts to show you what it looks like when you're using black resin or white resin. Then you'll know for your project which color to really use. Here I'm coming in with um, a paintbrush to get really into the corners of those, of those hearts. You can also take it all the way up the side of the mold so that the side of your piece also has that holographic effect. So let's skip forward a little bit and check out how I pour the resin into this mold. Once I've coated the mold completely with the holographic powder, you can even see it like shining right there, but once I've, I've coated the, the inside of the mold with that holographic powder, I'm going to pour my mixed resin into the mold. Now, I like to use black paint and a ready mixed resin to fill one of the hearts, and then I'm gonna use white paint and a ready mixed resin to fill the other one. As you're pouring, make sure that the resin is getting into every nook and cranny of the mold, especially with ones like this that have sharp corners and edges. You can fill the mold as high as you want to uh, or as shallow as you want. So the next resin coloring technique I'm gonna show you is with alcohol ink and glitter. Oh, I love glitter, I love it so, so much. Glitter is my aesthetic. But anyways, <laughs> we're taking clear, already mixed resin, and I'm gonna drop in a couple of drops of pink alcohol ink. Then I'm going to add in uh, my glitter after I mix it up and get it to the color that I want it to. After it's the color that I want it to be, I'm gonna add in my glitter. I mix the glitter in really well, making sure I'm scraping the edges to get all of it incorporated into the resin. I'm gonna add another type of glitter that's a little bit finer. The other type I was using was a little chunky, and so I came in with a super fine or an ultra fine glitter to add some extra pop to it. I love mixing various sizes and types of glitter to my pieces. It just makes them more beautiful. So as I'm pouring this in, if you keep an eye on it, you'll see that the glitter is starting to drop to the bottom of the mold. So the next technique I'm gonna show you for coloring your resin is mica powders. 
You can find these all over Amazon. You can use them for soap making, you can use them for resin, you can use them in so many types of crafts. It's more of a shimmer than a glitter and it has a pearlescent effect to it. For this project, I'm using a bluish purple. Just that much will change the color of this clear resin to a rich purple blue color that I absolutely love. When you're mixing mica powders, you wanna make sure that you're doing it a small amount at a time. If I were mixing a large cup of this, I would make sure that I poured a little bit out into a small cup like this and mix the mica in, then pour it into the big cup. Sometimes when you're mixing mica into a large quantity of resin, you can end up um, having clumps of the mica throughout. So you wanna make sure that you really start with a small amount, have it thoroughly concentrated and incorporated, then add it into the larger amount of resin. Okay, so I added a little bit more powder because I really wanted it to be a rich, rich blue purple, and now it is. It's not as translucent as it was a minute ago. And you can really see that pearlescent effect. And with that, you just pour it right in. Now the next way to add color to resin is with acrylic paint. I kind of showed you that a little bit earlier with the holographic hearts, but here you can really see what I'm doing. I, I drop a drop or two of acrylic paint into the resin, mix it all up, and you can mix as fast as you want to at this point. You mix it thoroughly and then you just pour it right into your mold. This is the easiest way to color resin. Uh, you can choose any paint color you want and just mix it in and you're ready to go. Now, for the next technique I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take that same cup, add a little bit more resin to it, and a little bit more paint with the same color, but this time I'm gonna add a little glitter. So when you're adding glitter to resin that has acrylic paint in it, you wanna make sure that you don't add too much paint or the paint will block out any of that glimmery sparkliness of the glitter. I'm gonna mix in a few sizes of glitter from regular to chunky to ultra fine. And then you just mix it all in. If you end up with the resin being a little too opaque, you can just add a little more resin to it and it'll make it more translucent. When you compare the teal heart on the left to the teal heart on the right, you can see there's a little bit of glimmer and sparkle there on the right. The next technique I'm gonna show you is glow powder with alcohol ink. So this glow powder is from Art and & Glow, and I absolutely love it. It is the most vibrant glow powder I've ever used. There are a lot of more affordable glow powders on Amazon, but the Art and Glow one is by far the most vibrant that I have purchased. So I'm gonna put in a couple of scoopfuls of the glow powder. And what you have to know about this is the powder is going to sink to the bottom of your mold no matter what. The powder itself is pretty heavy, so it sinks. Uh, and so just keep that in mind as you're creating your piece. Add in a few drops of alcohol ink in an aqua blue color, and I mix, mix, mix. Also keep in mind that glow powder has a gritty consistency. It's not as smooth as mica powder. So depending on what you're using it for, just keep that in mind. I've never had a problem with the consistency of glow powder, but it, it has a grittier feel to it. All right, so I've let those pieces cure overnight. It's the next day now, and you're gonna see two other hearts in this mold. Just pretend like they're not there. They're gonna pop back up in a couple of modules, uh, but since I was pouring, I figured I'd take care of those then. But just ignore those last two that weren't there before. Um, we're gonna start popping these out of the mold. So 
When I remove things from a mold, I like to stretch the outer edge so that it releases the piece from the mold. Here's our first holographic heart. The camera really can't pick up all of the the glimmer on that, but it's just so beautiful and it's one of my favorite things to do. When the light hits it right, it's just gorgeous. Now the white backed um, holographic heart. Compare the look. When you're pouring the white against the holographic powder, it just doesn't look that great, but the black, the black makes it pop, which is why I always pour black or a dark dark color anytime I'm using holographic powder. I personally stay away from light colored paints when I'm using the holographic effect. Now you can see the pink heart with the glitter and how all of that glitter kind of fell to the front and it just really pops and it's beautiful. Next up is the bluish purple mica heart. If I zoom in a little bit, you can kind of see how swirly and pearlescent this heart is. It's so beautiful. All right, next up is our teal acrylic paint. Really smooth, consistent color, a great background for anything that you want to do. After that, we have the teal acrylic paint again, but with glitter this time. Check out that sparkle. And the last one I'm going to show you in this video is the glow heart. So remember it's our, our glow powder with a little bit of aqua alcohol ink. Nice and smooth, even mixing and check out that glow. Like how beautiful is that? I absolutely love the glow powders for creating one of a kind pieces. So like I said, ignore those two pieces at the bottom. We're gonna talk more about them in the next module, but these seven hearts at the top really showcase just a few ways in which you can color your resin and really add dimension and make them pop. Um, I hope that you'll really try some of them out. In the next lesson, we're gonna talk about another way to color your resin piece, so stay tuned.